In this video, I'm going to use list widget to write a robot code using push button, label, combo box, and line editing. First, create Qt widget application in Qt. Then go to form. Select list widget, drag list widget into GUI window. Then create multiple combo box. So this is the first combo box. Add multiple item. The first item should be move L. Second item should be move C. The third item will be move A. So these are all robot code which are all used to move robot from one point to another point. Then create another combo box with a uh, lot of new items. Then name those new items from P1 to P9. So these are all the points. First point, you can choose any point between P1 to P9 using combo box 2. Create combo box 3 and 4. Click on combo box 4. Create an empty point and move it to the top of combo box. So finally, we have three points. Then create a push button and label. Name those label as speed. Create line edit where I can specify the speed of robot. Rename push button as insert. Create multiple copies of insert. Name those push button as delete and clear. Now I'm going to write code for each push button. And finally, the code will be displayed in list widget. Now run the application. You will get a front end window similar to this one. So insert, delete, clear. Now I'm going to write code on each button push button create a q string as speed in go to line edit select text changed you can get a function similar to this one fix argument one as speed which is nothing but q string select insert go to slot select clicked you will get a window like this select delete button create go to slot Similarly, select clear button, create go to slot with click the option. Inside the clear option, type UI list widget clear. That will clear the entire list widget. Then inside delete button, type Q delete all UI list widget selected item. So this will delete the selected item from the mouse. This should be selected items, not select items. Yes, should be small letter. Now go to insert button, create Q string, string one. So here, the str1 will read the content from 
combo box UI combo box current index so current index is nothing but number of row it may be first row second row or third row then rename q string two three four like this then the corresponding combo box one two and three two three and four instead of current index i'm going to read current text make it as current text so whatever the value appeared in combo box comes inside string one two three four respectively instead of row we are reading actual text value of combo box so totally i have four string and each string display the corresponding combo box value now create int integer string str ui combo box the first combo box the combo box is nothing but move l move c where i am reading current index value this should be a number current index means number if the string str equal to equal to one which means if the first value is selected that is move l is selected then it will execute the uh, action inside the if function else if string one is selected then it will execute the action inside the curly bracket of else if str1 then create else if str2 str zero means move l str1 means move c str2 means move a of combo box one so now i'm going to type the action for the string move l selected in combo box q string s equal to str1 str1 means point one then inside quote there is a space plus double quote space double quote which means there will be a space between string one and string two string two is nothing but combo box two that is p second point then again a space plus string three plus space p so that will be assigned to string s then finally ui list widget add item should be capital s so capital s is a character i mean string so that will be put inside the list widget now you can see the demo giving speed as one insert move l p1 p2 speed with a space move l space p1 space p2 space distance so i mean speed now go to else if string one that is move c the second command of that move l again paste the same command here for move c we are uh, getting three points so string two string three and string four so string two one point string three another point string four third point plus speed else if string two then move a arc again we are getting three points for that so now you can see that i'm going to select move l to move c now third points are selected p1 p2 p3 now move c display p1 p2 p3 with a distance of with the speed of one again move a three points p1 p2 p3 with a space of one so this is how you can insert a value inside a list widget using combo box insert delete and clear part so delete will erase the selected item whereas clear will erase the entire list widget so 
one more time i'm running the application speed 0.5 click insert move l p1 p1 4 and again select move c p2 p3 speed 4 it will display p2 p3 and 4 again select move c p2 p3 p2 that will display move c p2 p3 p2 4 again move a p2 p3 p4 so this is how list widget can be used for inserting deleting and clearing an item